Hello friends, this is Saeed Mohamed Vakas. Today I will discuss about the work method statement for hydrostatic pressure testing in chill water system. Like what points you need to keep in mind while writing the work method statement for hydrostatic pressure testing in chill water system. So let's start. So there are different points you need to keep in mind while writing the work method statement. So first is you have to define the purpose. What is the purpose of this hydrostatic pressure testing? You have to define that. Then you have to write the scope of the work. What is included in the work? You have to define that. Then you have to define the responsibilities like which people or which department are responsible while performing the hydrostatic pressure testing on chill water system. Then hydrostatic pressure testing method statement. You have to write the points or the steps you need to follow while performing the hydrostatic pressure testing and next is the health and safety requirement so in order to perform the hydrostatic pressure testing in a safely manner you have to follow the health and safety requirements and then so now the next thing is reference records so once you satisfactory complete your hydrostatic pressure testing you need to keep the reference records like hydrostatic pressure testing report calibration certificate ptw and drawings you need to keep all these documents as a reference record so now i'm going to discuss uh, each of the point one by one now we'll discuss the purpose of this work method statement so purpose of this work method statement is to make sure that hydrostatic pressure testing of chill water piping system is done safely as per client requirement and applicable standards. So you have to follow all the local applicable standard while performing the hydrostatic pressure testing on chill water system. This should be included in the purpose. Now in the scope of the work, this work method statement covers the hydrostatic testing of chill water pipe work at the project and to be followed for all piping work at the site and about the material the method statement is for chill water black steel schedule 40 piping and the fitting this should be included in scope of the work and uh, uh, before starting hydrostatic pressure testing all other work on the system have been snagged by construction team and desnagged and signed off by the quality department and the quality department will verify the quality of the work before starting hydro pressure, hydrostatic pressure testing. That means quality of the work should be excellent before starting the hydrostatic pressure testing. So now I will tell you about the responsibilities, the people who are responsible for hydrostatic pressure testing. So responsible people are like construction manager, mechanical engineer, foreman, superintendent and uh, QA QC engineer quality assurance quality control engineer who has to verify the quality of the work prior to start of hydrostatic pressure testing now I will tell you about the steps which you need to follow while performing hydrostatic pressure testing first of all you have to get the PTW permit to work from the safety department prior to start of hydrostatic pressure testing. It is very important to obtain the PTW uh, from safety department prior to start of hydrostatic pressure testing. Make sure that prior to start of hydrostatic pressure testing, all test points are installed on the piping. Also, the pressure gauge should be fitted adjacent to the pressure pump. Now the water filling point will be installed at the lowest point of the system and the valve vent at the highest point of the system to be tested and this vent will be piped to a drain point. Make sure that the pressure gauges with a valid calibration certificate should be fitted adjacent to the pressure pump and you have to submit this calibration certificate as a reference record. As you can see in the picture, that pressure gauge is attached adjacent to the pressure pump. Now the pipe work will be filled with water sufficiently in advance of the test to allow it to come to room temperature. 
so that any sweating can evaporate. So when the system sufficiently filled with the water, the vent valve will be open and allowed to run freely for the period of 5 minutes or 10 minutes depending on all the air is released from the system. So at that point when the air is released, the uh, vent valve will be closed. But make sure that all the air is released from the system prior to start of pressure testing. Now when the system is filled with the water and vented, the test rig will be linked to the system and pressure increased to the required system test pressure. As per requirement, we usually keep uh, the testing pressure 1.5 times the operating pressure. So let's say if uh, our operating pressure is uh, 4 kg per square centimeter, so testing pressure will be 6 kg per square centimeter. So when the test pressure is reached, the valve at the fill point will be closed for the period of 15 minutes to stabilize the system. Now the gauge will be checked to see if any pressure loss has occurred due to stabilization. If so, the test rig will be applied to bring the system test pressure back up to the specification requirements. Upon repressurization, the test rig shall then be dismantled from the system. Make sure to record the ambient room temperature of the start and finish time of the test. Duration of the test will be 24 hours and temperature should be recorded frequently during the testing. So now you have to check for the leakage during the testing. So a visual inspection of the joints will take place during the test period to check for the leaks. If any leakage found during the test, then test will be aborted. Or cancer so now you have to fix the leakage after the leakage is fixed the above procedure will be repeated for retest to take place upon satisfactory completion of hydrostatic pressure testing witnessed by consultant the pressure will be released to the vent pipe make sure to release the pressure slowly to the vent pipe so that system shall be drained so once the system is trained, pressure testing report should be prepared and submitted to consultant for approval and signed off. So once the pressure testing report is signed off and approved, keep this as a reference record. Now I will discuss the health and safety requirements. In order to conduct the hydrostatic pressure testing in a safely manner, you need to follow health and safety requirements. So what are these? Site personnel are aware of testing and proper tagging. So make sure that all the people in the testing area are well aware of testing is going to be performed and proper taggings are displayed. And the piping check. A piping should be checked that all pipes are fastened properly and supports are there for the piping. Warning signs. All warning signs should be there, both in English as well as local language. Then the valve operation. Make sure that the valve operator should completely understand the valve operation prior to start of hydrostatic pressure testing. Then pressure release after satisfactory test completion. Make sure to release the pressure from the system after satisfactory test completion and pressure should be released slowly to the vent valve and make sure that there is no uh, pressure trapped anywhere in the system and the last thing i have to discuss here is the reference record reference record is basically a list of evidence document that you have successfully completed the hydrostatic pressure testing so what are these uh, documents on record? So you have to keep the record of PTW that is permit to work which you have obtained from HSC department. Second thing is you have to keep the hydrostatic pressure testing report. The report which you have prepared at the end of the test and submitted to consultant. Keep this as a reference record. And the calibration certificate. Though, so the pressure gauge 
with the valid calibration certificate which you use in the testing this certificate should be keep as a reference record and the last is latest drawing revision so the latest drawing revision which you have used to perform the hydrostatic test should be keep as a reference record so all these documents should be keep as evidence that you have successfully performed the hydrostatic pressure testing so i hope you guys learned something from this video for more videos keep watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you